Alright, well, I have not uploaded a YouTube video in a while, I guess, so, yeah, here I am again. Notice it's been a while because I am trying to grow this out, although it's not working very well because I suck, I don't know. But the point of this video is to uh, introduce, not necessarily introduce, but to tell you about a drinking game that I was introduced to last night. I was out at a bar with some friends of mine. We were um, singing some karaoke. We were doing a little contest, I guess, and one of my friends brought up a game, a drinking game called Life. The point is, just like with any other drinking game, of course, is to simply get your friends drunk. Um, if there was ever any other point to a drinking game, then it wouldn't be a drinking game, so, clearly, but here's what you do. You can do it anywhere, I guess. You can do it at a party, just in a social setting, a bar, whatever, as long as you're drinking. The point is, is that if you have a drink, now I would assume, and I'll be honest, the rules were not fully explained to me, either that or I just wasn't clearly paying attention because I was half asleep throughout the night, but um, to my understanding, as long as you have a drink, whether it's in your hands or not, that drink of yours must have some kind of a deformation to it. Whether you peel the label slightly, or if it's a can, if you kind of crush the can just a little bit, or if you pop the tab on it, something to make the bottle or the can or whatever look different, deformed, change its physical appearance, whatever you want to call it. And that keeps you safe. Kind of like, I don't know, if you're playing King of the Hill and you have your foot on home base the whole time. So, if you do not have a deformed drink of any kind, and a friend of yours who knows about the game, you have to know about the game, obviously, and you catch, this friend of yours catches you, they are allowed to call life. They have to say it out loud and, you know, to you, and I would assume maybe you have to point or something to make it obvious, and you are then in turn responsible for chugging the rest of your drink because it is not deformed. And I found out, obviously I found out the hard way last night, although what I was drinking was nothing too serious in the first place. It was simply Johnny Appleseed, which is, you know, a very good beer, by the way, if you've never had it, of course. So, yeah, that's all you do. You just... Obviously, you have to make sure that you and your friends are aware that the game exists and that you all know how to play. And then, like I said, you just call out somebody who doesn't have any type of a deformation on their drink and they have to chug it. And you can only hope that your friends are not assholes and that they're actually going to sit there and play along with the rules and finish chugging their drink and that they're not going to sit there and go, Oh, I just got this like two seconds ago. Come on, man. So, yeah, that's fun. Now, it's almost kind of funny, I guess, because it reminds me of a slight variation on the game, which is called Carl Malone. Now, Carl Malone is, I don't know if he still plays or not, but he was a basketball player. And he was pretty famous for, you know, whenever he would dunk, he would put one hand behind his head, and then he would just dunk with his other hand. So... When you do Carl Malone, it's kind of the same thing as life, just you point and call Carl Malone to anybody that's got a drink in their hand. It doesn't have to have a deformation or anything, and they have to chug it. One hand behind the head, and then the other hand has the drink, and you just keep chugging until you're done with your drink, obviously. So those are two ways that you may or may not already be familiar with that you have... The opportunity, if you will, to get yourself and your friends drunk whenever you're at a bar or a social setting of any kind. So feel free to pass along that information. And that's pretty much it, I guess.
like and share this video, you know, put it on your, uh, you know, Facebook, share it with your friends, and uh, make sure to try it out the next time you're in a bar.